Hello friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you are new, hi, hello and welcome for your first time. My name is Kaylee, it is so great to have you here. Today we are talking mom summer hacks. When I was trying to think of a video for this week, I got really excited because I was like, oh my kids are out of school, I could share some like summer hacks for moms and just like parents. And then within like 30 seconds I was like, I don't know any. So today my kids and I tried out a couple hacks we found on Pinterest and I'm going to be sharing those with you. Then I do have a couple bonus hacks at the end that we didn't have to try out and there's no use like demonstrating it. So let's get into this video. I'm very excited. The first hack I want to talk about is using water guns filled with paint to make art. I made a lot of clips while doing this so let's share some of those okay so for this one we got a pack of three water guns from the dollar store so this was a dollar 25 and then i bought three paints and we're gonna fill them with that these are washable ones but here's hoping that's true and then i got these canvases also at the dollar store um so a dollar 25 each and then i used duct tape to put their initials on them I'm hoping this will work. I'm nervous about this one. So when I looked up this crap, there was like no instructions on how to get the paint in here. So I'm using an old medicine dropper and it's working pretty well, except like it's covered in paint. Using a medicine dropper was actually just the best idea ever because this end fit in the hole perfectly. All of them are resting to try and get all the paint down into the bottom because that's where it shoots from. So I have all of the little guns filled with paint. We're almost ready to begin. So I have one extra canvas that I've, that was just laying around my house and I'm gonna test this out. I don't know how this is gonna work. How am I not doing that? This is so cool. Now try that one. That one looks so good. Overall, I had pretty low expectations going into this one, and I do think that the artwork turned out great, but it just wasn't worth it. <laughs> Let me show you the art. So this is my test one, and I think that it looks pretty good. I don't think that it's like bad, it was fun. Zoe's with a Z, Aria's, and Mikkel. The most successful ones were the ones where they ended up using a paintbrush and just going over it anyways. And yes, I think that mine is really cool and creative, but like, at what cost? <laughs> I only spent $1.25 on all of those uh, water guns, but I feel like I just need to throw them away now. Like, there's no way I'm gonna successfully clean those out. Just overall, like, filling up the water guns with paint was a hassle and I don't think the art turned out amazing. I think like as far as putting the tape on the canvas and painting over it, I feel like that's better done just using paint with paint brushes, which would also be cleaner. My kids were pretty messy, you know, just shooting paint <laughs> at canvases. So I, I give that one a thumbs down. I think maybe if your kids are older, it would work. Maybe if you're an adult, you could do it for fun. But where my kids are ages five and three, it just was too much of a hassle and I was just stressed out. So I don't recommend that one. Another summer hack that we found is taping a bubble wand 
in the hack they taped it to a tree trunk. Your kid doesn't have to worry about like holding it to open the bubble wand because when they hold it they tend to spill it which is very true for me and my kids. So we taped it to the poles of our balcony and my three-year-old was much more easily able to just dip it and use it. My kids, I mean, you can see in the clips, my daughter does not know how to blow bubbles. She just waves it around and sometimes bubbles show up. But I do think that this one was much more successful. I do recommend it. I, I give that one a thumbs up. I think that you should try it out and reduce the spillage of bubbles. The next summer hack is using a cupcake liner under your popsicle to keep the mess contained. I also have a lot of outdoor clips from that one, so I'm gonna insert those here. Okay, it's popsicle time. Two of them are trying the cupcake liner method. One of them is not. And we're gonna see if the cupcakes make less of a mess. Although, to be fair, I gave the, <laughs> the non-cupcake liner to my normally messiest child. <laughs> Zoe is already getting chocolate like on her hand. Can you show your hand? So it's like on her thumb and stuff. Where these two aren't having that issue. So as far as getting it on your hand, so far it is working. Arya gave me the rest of hers, which when I cut the hole, I cut it a little big. And, oh, my and it's dripping. It's all over the stick. Mikkel's, I cut the hole really small. No, it's still leaking out the bottom. Um, and, my is on my hand. and it's on her dress. <laughs> Zoe. <laughs> Zoe. <laughs> um, Aria also got a ton on her shirt as well. So I think this one's a bust, but creamies are the best. Honestly, I think that a better solution is to just paper towel. Maybe it's the, the liners I got, but it just, it's caught in here, and so it's like gonna drip out. Do you see that? Paper towel. <laughs> just wrap this stuff in a paper towel. That's a much better solution. Okay, Arvia, her shirt is covered in popsicle. <laughs> Miss Mikkel has <laughs> Has it dripping down her arms? And my hand is really dirty. And she had the liner, and Zoe, her whole shirt is covered. And my wife had some too. That's a fail, in my opinion. <laughs> For that one, I definitely give it a thumbs down. <laughs> I, I mentioned that in those clips, but really, it just. It doesn't work. Again, if you have like older kids who can eat a popsicle faster, it would work better. Um, maybe if you're an adult and you really don't want that drip on it, you could try that out. But I, I think a paper towel works best. That I'm giving that hack a thumbs down. I don't recommend it. I don't think it works. The next hack is one that I found really interesting and the theory goes that if you put your ice cream in a Ziploc bag, then it will be softer when you go to scoop it. I didn't really have high hopes on this one and I'm still a little conflicted about this one. So I ended up buying two ice creams so that I could compare. They were different flavors, so maybe that helps make a difference, but they were the same brand. And I do think that the one in the Ziploc was slightly easier to scoop into, but not by that much. And maybe it's just the brand of ice cream, but neither of them were that hard to scoop into. But the one in the Ziploc was easier. That one, I'm I'm undecided on. Um, you can try it out yourself, try it with different ice creams. I'm sure that like different brands would yield different results. So I, I think it's worth trying, but I don't know that it's like anything amazing. 
I also tried out the Capri Sun slushy hack. Now, my kids didn't use actual Capri Suns. We used the Kool-Aid jammers. You just stick it in the freezer and they say to stick it in in the morning and then by the afternoon, it'll be a slushy. This one kind of worked. I feel like it wasn't as much of a slushy as I wanted it to be. I wish I remembered the exact amount of hours it was, but it was around like four or five hours and it was still pretty liquidy. So I don't know what they put in Capri Suns or Kool-Aid Jammers, because that's what we use, but they don't freeze very fast, I guess. <laughs> and so it kind of worked. I just, I don't know that I loved it. They're very like watered down juice. And so having that as a slush is just not ideal in my opinion because when I think of like a slushy or like a snow cone, I think of very flavorful, but these watered down juice things, eating it is different than drinking it. I'm using so many hand actions, but I just, I don't know. I don't know that that one was great. It worked, so I guess it gets a thumbs up, but it just, I don't know. I wouldn't say it was amazing or anything. Finally, I wanna share with you some things that I have done in the past that I do think are great hacks. First is DIY popsicles. And I got this little set from Ikea. It was only like one or two dollars. It was really cheap. We just use store-bought juice and you just pour it into the mold and then stick this in, and then you stick it in the freezer. I think that this is a really fun thing to do with your kids. I actually have a whole video of my five-year-old demonstrating how you do it. She wanted to make the video. I will link it down below. It's a really fun activity for the summer. I give it a thumbs up, I recommend it. Another one that I've tried, and I also have a video on this one, is using an ice mold to make little jello pieces. So I found this mold at the dollar store today. The dollar store is now $1.25, but $1.25 and they're little flamingos. And you can also find jello at the dollar store. So it costs like three bucks to get the mold and the jello. And then you just make the jello, pour it into the mold, and you have fun little jello pieces. And that's a fun activity to do with your kids. I have Again, I have a video, there's a link below. The video that I have below, we did it with a skeleton mold for Halloween, but you know, it's fine. You can do it any time of the year. It doesn't have to be summer. I also highly recommend having lots of crafting things available for your kids during the summer. And this year I actually found this, which it's by Mondo Llama, which is at Target, which is one of my favorite crafting brands because it's very inexpensive and they have so many cool kits for kids. But this one I'm super excited about because it's called a six in one summer crafts kit. So there are actually six different crafts in here that my kids get to do. So the plan is this summer while my kids are out of school, if they're ever like, I'm bored, I don't know what to do, we're gonna pull one of these out and we're gonna make crafts. I think that this is gonna be really fun. Another hack that I find really important is to just keep sunscreen and bug spray in your car, in your house, in your purse, keep it everywhere because you never know when you're gonna need it. There have been so many times in past summers where we're just driving and then we end up making a stop somewhere and like going to a playground or going on a little nature walk and having sunscreen and bug spray readily available is really important, especially with kids. I think that that's a really good hack. Just always have it with you, have it in the car, have it in your purse, always have it with you in the summer. The final summer mom hack that I swear by, make a list of all of your priorities so you can make sure that those get done and you can schedule them ahead of time if you need to. For me personally, if I do not make a list, those things will be forgotten and I don't want them to be forgotten. I want to stick to our list, to stick to our plans and make sure that these things happen. So I highly recommend making a list 
making it a priority. And there we have it. Those are all my summer parenting hacks. It was really fun testing those out with my kids. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please leave a comment down below with your own summer hacks so we can, you know, share all our knowledge, spread it around, and we can all benefit from it. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you all have an amazing summer, and I will see you next week in my next video. Bye. I love